Yo, what's good, everybody? I can't believe I'm saying this, but we are on NBA 2K23. I'm super excited for this year. I'm about to drop so many builds for you guys. I'm gonna give you all the best jump shots, all the best gameplay videos. Like, I'm, I'm literally so excited. Now, look, I need this to be known right now. Both build systems are basically the exact same. I think the only thing that's different is the badges. So if you already saw my next-gen popper build video, this will be that build. However, the reason I'm making it another video is because I don't want you guys playing current gen to skip past these like this build but just because you saw that it's next gen and go to a different build with a build like this you gotta have it so i'm just making sure everybody sees it if you already saw the next gen video you don't have to watch this one look at the bad youtuber am i i'm telling you guys not to watch my videos nah but one thing about me i'm always looking out for you guys and you know i stand on that so you know like i said if you already saw the next gen video you don't have to watch this one but for all my current gen players i got you guys you know i'm not gonna leave you guys hanging i'm only going to do this for this video though from now on for the rest of the year i will be making one build video per gen it doesn't matter i'm just doing it for this one because i don't want you guys to miss out on this without further ado let's get straight into the build now for the position you're going to want to go with power forward it gets the best badges the best physicals the best attributes all of that power forward in my opinion might actually be the best position to be this year even if you want to make like a dribbler you can make a tall power forward and you get amazing stats amazing badges all of that handedness you can go with whatever you like i go with left-handed because i'm me and I like shooting with a left-handed player. If you'd like to go right-handed, go ahead. Now for the height, you're going to want to go with six foot nine. The reason you want to go with six nine is because you get uh, all of the jump shots. Not all of them, but you get the six five through six nine jump shots. When you touch six ten, you don't uh, get all of those, and like it, they're a lot slower and they're a lot worse. You don't want to have the big man jump shots. You want to go with six foot nine. The weight you're actually going to want to bring down to two ten, or no, sorry, you want to bring the weight down to two fourteen. It gives you the best attributes. Uh, basically, I think it just like ups some of your stuff. And then, like, your physicals don't move or something like that. I don't I don't remember why I did it. I just remember knowing that it, it was the right good way to go because there was no downsides to it. The wingspan, you're going to want to max out at 7'7". Seven, seven. Listen, since you're 6'9", the two things you want on this build is vertical and wingspan. That way, you can jump over people. You can get those blocks. You can get those rebounds, all of that. So, you're going to want to obviously max out your wingspan. And then the body shape, you can go with whatever you like. I like being big, though, because it, it makes it more intimidating. It doesn't actually matter, though, like, like when it comes to, like, gameplay. But I'm going to go with built. They don't have burly for this build anymore. I don't know why, uh, but I, I, I guess they took it out. Now, the goal for this build was to only like pay attention to shooting and then defensive and rebounding and then put the rest on playmaking. But you will see in the end, though, that we actually do get a little bit of finishing just because we upgrade the other attributes. It is what it is. So you're going to want to start off. You're going to want to max out your three-point shot. You're going to want to bring your mid-range shot to a 79, which leaves you with 20 potential badge points for shooting, which is very good. Playmaking, you're going to want to put up your pass accuracy to a 60. They don't have bullet passer anymore, so you don't need a high pass accuracy to a lock bullet passer. It's mixed in with your pass accuracy. So this will probably give us like silver bullet passer if it was still in the game. So your passes will still get to their intended target and they won't really go out of bounds or anything like that. The ball handler, you're going to want to up your ball handle to a 40 and then you put your speed with ball as a 45. Now look, the playmaking, obviously it's not the best, okay? But this isn't a playmaking focused build. Even with you have, like, if you have the ball in your hand, you'll still be able to make plays if you know what you're doing with a 45 speed with ball. Me, I'm a great player, so I'm going to always make that play. I might have to run off the defender and shoot the shot. and Something like that, you know what I mean? I just don't want to be stuck with a 25 speed with ball. That is terrible. You literally will not be able to make plays at all. Now for the de defense, you're going to want to put your interior defense to a 70. I just think that's a good sweet spot. Perimeter defense, you want to put to an 86. Your steal, you want to put to a 90. Your block, you want to put to a 90. Also, let's put that right there. Actually, that brought up my interior defense. Let me turn that down. Offensive rebound, you want to max out. It'll be a 97. Your defensive rebound will be a 98, which is absolutely amazing. That is amazing defensive stats. And especially you need that since you're going to be on a 6 foot 9 build. You know what I mean? For the physicals, you're going to want to max out your speed and acceleration. Obviously, who would not want to do that? It's, it's literally just common sense. Like, why wouldn't you? Your strength, you want to put it at a 66. That way you can get bronze brick wall. Bronze brick wall is a very important badge that you want. Obviously, you're a center. Uh, it's kind of hard to get like silver and up. But listen, if you know how to set screens and you know how to run off of them, you know how to pop, you know how to slip, bronze brick wall is literally all you need. Uh, I Literally last year for 22 next gen, I had bronze brick wall and it was it literally was not a problem at all. You could still like clip lockdowns, all of that. So uh, listen, like I said, I'm not going to steal y'all in the wrong direction. I'm not going to steal, steer, I can't speak. I'm not about to steer you guys in the wrong direction. You know I got you. The vertical, like I said, you're going to want to max that out because that is a, uh, it's like a big point, you know what I mean? 
and then the stamina you can put to a 91 and here you have it right here this is going to be the final build you have three potential finishing badge points which you know it's not the best but you know it's not really a finishing build if you're wide open in the paint you can hit the layup no matter what anyway so who cares you get 20 shooting potential badge points which is amazing you get three playmaking which you know it's not that good but uh, it is what it is this isn't a playmaking focused build and then you get 30 potential badge points for your defense, which is fantastic. And I mean, look at the Hall of Fame badges that we get. We get Hall of Fame Chase Down Artist, which is amazing. Hall of Fame Box Out Beast, which is amazing. Hall of Fame Workhorse, which is basically Hustler, uh, if you remember that from the last year. We get Gold Rebound Chaser. Like, this is a fantastic build right here. I mean, I, you know, why, why wouldn't you want to make it? Now, for the takeovers, uh, it's a little bit different here uh, than next gen. So for next gen, you have all the takeovers. You can get lock take, sharp take, uh, rim take, and also glass clearing take. And then each of those takeovers obviously have their own, like, semi-takeovers. But for current gen, it's just one takeover. So it's sharp take, rim take, and glass take. Now, for me, I'm a competitive player, and I want to grab rebounds. So I would go with glass cleaning takeover for my primary. However, I would not be mad if you want to go spot up shooter. Now, you do not want to go rim protector takeover because it literally just doesn't do anything. I'm, 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 I'm sorry to tell all you rim protector takeover lovers. It, it, it really it really just does not do anything at all. I don't know why you want to go with rim take. Like, you're a psychopath. So if you want to go sharp take, you know, and park and have fun, you can. But me personally, I'm going to go with glass take primary and then sharp take secondary. That's, that's the most balanced for me. I feel like that's going to be the best uh, to win games, obviously, because when you're, when you're center this sh uh, short... You want to rely on your speed and your vertical, uh, but like to help with their rebounding and stuff. And then you also want to take as many rebounding like chances as you can get. Like you want to help your rebounding as much as you can. So I'm going to put primary takeover on the glass cleaner. And then my player builds complete. And there you have it. You have built a stretch glass cleaner. Now for all my current gen players, I encourage you guys. I encourage, I encourage, I encourage for all of you guys to go ahead and send me all of the clips of you guys using this build. I want to see everything, okay? I love it. Whether it's on TikTok, Twitter, I will see it. Just make sure to tag me in it. All my links will be in the description if you don't know what my links are. Uh, and, I mean, listen, this whole year we're going crazy. Like I said, I got you guys with the jump shots. I'm probably going to drop, drop a jump shot tomorrow. I was playing next gen a little bit before I recorded this video. And I'm not going to lie, I already found a demon jump shot. Now, I'm not going to say it's the best jump shot in the game because it's literally been out for a day. But it's it's a good enough jump shot to use for the first few days of the game. So I might upload that. And then if there's a better jump shot that's found, I will upload that. And, you know, so forth. But I got you guys with all the best tips, all of that. You, got, you guys know I got you. Like, you know what I'm saying? I really, I'm, I'm really putting on for you guys. I got to make sure you guys, you know, you're, 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 you're winning all your games. But like I said, send me all your clips. I got you guys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you guys want to watch me use this build on next gen, because I will be playing next gen, make sure to drop a follow to my Twitch. If you're already following it, just be on the lookout. Turn my notifications on, and you will see me streaming it. I will upload my first game uh, reaction probably tomorrow, I would say. So you guys can be on the lookout for that if you want to. And uh, yeah, guys, make sure to drop a like, uh, comment, subscribe, all of that. I love you all. You know I got you. And uh, yeah, peace out.